to spare you all the details, but long story short, I think we're ready to plug in. So, these fittings, they weren't exotic at all. They're standard Kubota fittings. So, I, I took everything down there. I was going to replace all that. I hated to do that because I thought it was going to lose the factory bracket and all that. And, and the guy at my local implement shop said, yeah, no problem. We'll just put the, give you, we got those tips in stock. And so, man, we're back in business. So also, so another good thing came out of it. I've been vindicated. So for all you shade trees that said there's no such thing as a metric crescent wrench. See it? I'm not a mathematician, but that looks like metric to me. Okay, here we go. Let's see if they fit. There's one. There's two. I cannot tell you the, the sorrow I had to make that happen right there. Okay, man, this is going to be so fun. This is my favorite part. <laughs> Frostbite. Get that F clip out there. That's pretty cool. All right, so frostbite looks a little dry there. Well, let's go with the grease is thick, very thick. I think it's still, I just checked the thermometer, it's 14 degrees when I went in for lunch. It's not too cold for the frostbite though. It's gonna get quite a little movement there. I might give it a little extra. I've never used a log gravel before. Let's go find out how it works. What are you doing in the garden? Composting! You want to see my new grabber? Yeah. Check this out. I think you might be somebody who likes your tractor. <laughs> what do you think of that? I can pick up heavy things with that now. I bet you can. <laughs> what time are we going to go skiing? Uh, right before oh. supper. I've got some logs to start sorting. It's really nice out. I, I might be... have to go twice. All right. Love you.
that works even better than I expected. One thing I noticed though, without the backhoe on the back, if I pick up two big logs, it's a little too heavy. The tractor has plenty of strength. It's just, it's just need some weight in the back. So I, I need to either put weight on the back or reinstall the backhoe up there if I'm gonna pick up multiple logs. And I don't need to. I'm, uh, I'm content we can just grab one at a time. Uh, it's not that big a deal. So in closing, I want to address um, uh, the tractor. Lots of questions. Where did the tractor come from? Why did you choose the Yanmar over some of the other brands, John Deere, Kubota, uh, Mahindra, all of the, that type of thing? And I want to address that now. So M Yanmar is a uh, sponsor, one of the major, the Cornerstone sponsor, or the anchor sponsor for the Mother Earth News Fair, which we spoke at all of the, the fairs, six fairs last year. So when we were at the fairs, we got to, you know, meet all the people and, you know, being there speaking, you know, and we were meeting some of the Yanmar folks and looking at their equipment, looking at their tractors, and we struck up a relationship and we kind of got together and I floated the idea of, of becoming, of doing it, becoming a tester for their new tractor. This is the YT359, it's a 59 horsepower compact tractor. Well. I like the company and, and Mrs. W kept driving, they had kind of a rodeo there, was driving the tractors there and the more we looked at them, the more impressed we were with them and then with that relationship, we, 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 Yanmar has become a sponsor of the channel. So what does that mean? So Yanmar is providing this tractor for us to use for two years. For two years and in exchange, what we're going to do is we are one of, I think, I only know of one other, I think two US testers. It really appealed to them to have the tractor out here because of the wide range of environments. We've got snow, and snow plowing, we're gonna be doing lots of tilling, planting, you know, all the things you use small tractor for, moving things around a homestead, it's all in one package right here. So part of our deal was, I, you know, when we were negotiating this, is I said, I'm not going to be um, an advertiser, I'm not gonna be doing a Yanmar commercial, I need to be completely independent. I need to be able to do the videos I want to do on whatever topic without being um, uh, dictated to by anyone. And if I like something, I'm going to say it. If I don't like something, I'm going to say that as well. I mean, I have, I'm, you know, as we're using the tractor and, you know, we need to get some, I need to get some time in the seat before I can really evaluate everything. I, there's a lot of things I really like. There's a few things that I don't like i.e. the seat, i.e. the fuel filler, i.e. I'm not sure if the, the brakes are on the right side, you know, those type of things. Once I get more time on it, I'll talk about those and I'll be completely candid with you as well. But so far, it's just been a wonderful tractor. Yanmar is a great company and that's why we decided to, to partner with them in this. I mean, they've been making diesel engines for over 100 years. They're a privately owned Japanese company. I mean, they're just, in the marine industry, they're just the byword of reliability and then, you know, marine diesels, and they're just a, a wonderful company. Uh, and, and we are going to the same place. They really are supporting the small farmer. This tractor here is the biggest one they make, 59 horsepower. They've, they always really focus on small hobby farms or small homesteaders and delivering a good product for a good price. And it's just, a, I'm just very pleased with it. So you're going to see the tractor in future videos. Hope that answers the question, how we got it, why we're doing it. We're reporting back, we're working with them and, and that's the deal. So the question's gonna come is, so if I, with my own money, would I buy this tractor versus over some of the competition, Kubota, John Deere, Mahindra, and there's a lot of fine, nice tractors out there. New Holland, I worked at, looked at all of them. Yeah, yeah, I, I really would. I've ran lots of them, and, and there's a lot of fine tractors out there. I'm not saying this is the only one, but this has just been a wonderful tractor and just couldn't be more tailor-made for, for our homestead. So hope that answers the question. Uh, to the, those of you guys that had out there, why the Yanmar? And um, I'm looking forward to working with them, and, and I really appreciate their support on the channel. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys on the next video. Boy, how quickly the weather can change. This was yesterday. It was just bluebird beautiful. And today it is uh, seven degrees and howling, swirling winds. And it is, it's frightening. It's a nice day to sit in by the wood stove. So what did we learn here? A lot of things have happened. You know, when I started this whole thing, this whole quest for the right fitting, I did not understand all of the different variants and, and all of those things from flat face to large pioneer to small pioneer. Here's what happened. So the implement company that delivered the snowblower, excuse me, the snowplow and the grappler 
set it up with the most standard fittings, the large Pioneer fittings. Okay, so they they showed up, they didn't plug in. I called them and the guy said, uh, I talked to said, oh, okay, so you have the small ones because as far as he knew, there was only two. There's a large Pioneer and the small Pioneer. Well, then he sent the other ones and then, of course, we went through all of the hassle you saw in yesterday's video. They didn't fit either. So... I called him back, and he had never heard of this thing. So I was—I well, didn't know what was going on. I just assumed that this was something, some European thing, something that was non-standard metric, whatever it was. I went back down to my implement guy, got a guy that was really new hydraulic hoses. He looked at it and was like, "No, that's that's a standard compact tractor um, a nipple uh, for for the hydraulic deal." I mean, in, in five minutes, he had me hooked up. We got to use all the factory stuff, and it all worked out. So, you know, it was basically a lack of knowledge. The guy who supplied the implements, he didn't know about this. Um, but the guy, my local implement guy, he did. Maybe he deals more with compact tractors. So that was, the, um, that was kind of the mix-up. So I know a lot more about it now than I did then, that's for sure. So on the uh, on the good side, I uh, woke up this morning to a uh, Yanmar sending emails. Of course, they watched the videos. <laughs> they were they were uh, concerned about this that they may be because this tractor is brand new and then this is just being introduced in the market. I have one of the very first ones. Uh, I want to make sure that this gets right. Um, they said that those implements, those uh, connectors, are standard pretty much everywhere and you know of course the U.S. were a little different here sometimes. So they're addressing that. So it was. Um, it's it's all worked out. It was not a big deal, and uh, it was just, uh, well, there was an education there. I know a lot more about it now than I did when I started going into it, and um, I guess that's it. So gun class coming up, the Leupold. Um, if, let's see, Leupold, excuse me, I keep pronouncing that wrong, is hosting Mrs. W and I for a two-day handgun gun class. Um, we are very much looking forward to that. We have the OK uh, to film that. We've got... Uh, a crack video team <laughs> uh, uh, to help us out with that so we can enjoy it and the bad thing is it's going to be cold it's um really going to be cold so mrs w is hoping it's going to be inside but i don't know we'll have to we'll have to see and we'll just uh roll with the punches so thanks for watching and we'll see you guys on the next video